What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Look who I've got with me from North Carolina, well, through Ohio to North Carolina, right down the road. Oh man, my... I've been here for three years now. I can't even get some credit. All right, all right, all right. I'm calling him North Carolinian now. My man is here from Greensboro. Mr. Rick Webb is in the house, everybody. Yo, what's up? Before we even get started, I know this is probably a crazy ass statement, but if you're not following this dude, on social and if you're not subscribed to his channel which he has about 40,000 more subs than I do then please go ahead and subscribe to his channel and give me a sub as well if you're having to I was about to say, if you're a random person that yeah. I just sent to this video to come watch it, yes. hit the subscribe button. You made it over here ding, already. Ding, ding. It takes a little click and you're done. Done. New content from this dude every single... Every Thursday. Every Thursday. It's on. He's consistent. I'm not. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> He's got a lot going on, though. So, what are we getting into today, man? We were just sitting here riffing and we came up with something kind of genius, right? Yeah, we wanted to give you guys some good content here while I'm here. And uh, one of the things we kind of... We're talking about, like, the questions we get most often from people. Yeah. Is a lot around these enhancements, or that's what I call them, or these add-ons, as you guys want to call them, these upgrades, these upsells up yeah. that we do. We go out and buy all this fancy, crazy little gears from movers, totems, uplights, cold spark fountains, CO2, you name it. There's even more string light. I do a lot of string lighting stuff. Oh, yeah. um, there's so many upsells out there, and we're talking about like let's dive into them and dissect them because there's a lot of stuff that goes into the decision making on what to buy, when to buy, where to buy, how you justify that buying purchase, or even if you rent it, etc. So this is going to be very raw, very uncut, mm -hmm. the way we planned on doing this. Yeah. But we're going to go back and forth here and discuss some of the topics around upsales. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, so let's do this, Rick. Let's just go ahead and throw out there some of the most common things that you and I see, whether we do them or not. Yeah, what we see. In the mobile space that people are taking out. So what do you got? Go. Uh, I'm going to go with the top two things across the board. Uplighting and totems with movers. Yep. Top two things you see everywhere. I agree. What so else? What we else? Got? We, got, we got Dancing on the Clouds. Dancing on the Cloud. Uh, we got Cold Sparks. Cold Sparks. We've got CO2, uh, CO2, CO2 cannons, Bla some kind of blaster. Cannons or blasters, you see it in very different things. How about TV screens? TV screens, yeah. Yep. I forgot about that. You add those to the totems. Yep, TV um, screens. Four totems. <laughs> <laughs> you see that sometimes, it's crazy. Well, the Asteratudes, I just ordered those by the way. Did you really? I did. I'm I, jealous right I, now. I, I did. I'm not, I wasn't going to tell him because I was going to make him come back and shoot him with me, but I did order an 8 If you If you don't know what those are, there's only a the handful of people using them out there, yep. but Astera tubes. Jason Jan has got some cool videos on those right yep. now. Yep. Um, they're definitely going to be coming to his channel very soon. Yes, so. they will be. Astera tubes, Maybe photo one. booths, but oh, yeah, we're, photo we're, booth. we're talking more on the DJ side. Photo booths is like a completely different business. Yep. Um, so I wouldn't really throw that in there. Dance on the Cloud, Cold Sparks, up. Oh, I mean, the string lights. Like string you lights. Hey, that's that's kind of it's still tough though because you gotta have a ladder. I, I feel like you need a ladder for that. Did you see my story recently? Yeah. Yes. Just I just purchased a 12 foot ladder pin spotting. Actually, was what I was oh, doing. Yeah. That's yeah. another one. Yeah. That kind of gets more into the lighting design or production or production. Mm -hmm. You want to get into that. Um, but I think what we touched on right there is a lot of the kind of around your DJ setup. What yeah. you're gonna be doing when you oh. talk. Oh. oh. Wait, we forgot. We forgot something super important. What? Bun gear. I guess I that like, is. Yeah. I feel like furniture yeah. can't. I don't. I don't either. I don't charge for it, but we some could. people do. Yeah. Dude, I, 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 I've got a lot of bun gear clients that that charge more to bring the bun booth. That's correct. It could be an upsell. I want to talk about when. When do you know when to buy this stuff? You know what like, I mean? Because when, when to add it to your company? Right. Like, when to start we're, offering we're all, this service? We're all gear whores. Like you're looking around here in my studio now. There's gear here. There's gear there. There's gear there. There's gear there. Let's, like, let's, I want let's, it all. All, let's all be honest with ourselves. We would love to have like 20 cold spark fountains, yes. CO2, yes. and bring them to every single yes. wedding that we do. You could be like your boy Butterworth and have the giant oh, robot God. guy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. So I think one of the biggest things you need to think about is: is it happening in your market? Is it common? Are yeah. clients asking about it? Yeah. We talked about this a very little bit out in the parking lot in that video we did for your channel. Yes, we did. We were saying, like, we're in the South. Like, he and I live in North Carolina, an hour and 15 minutes apart. What we take out on a weekendly basis is very different than what 
a Jason Janai takes out in upscale New Jersey, New, Jersey, New York, and or DJ Ball. LA, right? Or LA. LA, even LA. LA is even different because they have a whole. Different... My guys down at LaForce, down in Dallas, like yeah, that's a totally different market, man. New York City, Dallas, LA, even and Atlanta. I've you seen know, some crazy you know, we didn't even talk about it, but LA. One of the enhancements I see them selling is their. Column arrays. They're selling oh, wow. column arrays instead of the normal speakers because it's cleaner and fits. Because LA and Hollywood and that, they're big on the, desi the, 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 the designers. They rule the world in the yeah. wedding industry there. So true. having the column arrays, they'll upsell it. Wow. So yeah. even like an Evolve 50, they would upsell yeah. it. Yeah, an Evolve 50 is an upsell there instead of bringing their other 12 inch, their, their other 12 inch QSEs, which Interesting. is completely mind blowing to think that you can upsell a speaker, but they are doing it somehow. So my, my win is going to be, again, like Rick said, number one, is it is it in your market? Are people... Here's the key. Research, are, research your market. Research your market, and then are people asking for this stuff? When they inquire with you on email, on phone, are they saying, hey, you know, we were at a wedding in blah, blah, blah the other night and saw the couple leave, and at the end of everybody holding a sparkler, they had these fountains that were going off. I don't even know what they were called. Or, hey, we went into a venue the other day, and we've been there a hundred times, but we haven't toured the, last week and there were red lights i don't know what they're called but they were all around the room and the whole place looked red and mm -hmm. like most people don't even know what they're they don't asking yeah they for. don't they don't know the terminology but if you show them a picture like yeah i yes. saw that yes. i like that or i, I want, want that i want that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it, it's just now i think you probably can testify to this in our area i i get like maybe one out of ten clients that'll be like do you have those cool fountains right right and then we hit them with the price and they're like, uh, no, we <laughs> thought so they were cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it's, it's definitely something you need, you need to look, read into your market, listen to your clients, see if they want them or not. And that's going to be the decision factor in terms of if you add them or not. Don't just buy to buy, guys. Again, all of my videos that you watch of mine where I'm talking about money or margins or sales, like you want to operate lean, maximize your profits. You don't need every bell and whistle, especially if it's just going to sit in the closet like some of the stuff that I've bought over the years is doing. So you have done your market research, right? And you're looking now to add anything, up lighting, cold spark found, CO2. Yeah. Where do you look to actually find this? Like, what do I need to buy? Because yeah. it's, it's very vague in terms of you see that people are doing up lighting in your area, but you really don't know what they're using. You see that they're doing cold spark talents, but you really don't know what they're using. How, where would someone start their journey to figure out where to find it? I mean, my first call is always going to be to guys I know that own this stuff. M me too. <laughs> it, and it's normally somebody person. from New Jersey. <laughs> it's, it's normally someone... <laughs> Not gonna lie, hundred percent. I reach out to Bar about gear a lot. I'm like, yo, so what's everyone using for cold sparks up there? I talk, I talk to Jan and I a lot. Uh, Jason Clock, I talk to him a lot. Nate Nelson down in Dallas, I yep. talk to him a lot. Yep. Uh, but I usually start there versus the Facebook groups because that can get really sideways really fast. Too many recommendations. Some people don't really criticizing know other person's oh. recommendations and oh, yeah. other things. It goes left and right. So total shit. Show. Definitely reaching out to people you know. You YouTube. Search for the stuff you want and maybe you'll stumble across one of Joe's videos, my videos, even Jason J and I now is posting videos on the gear that they are using at their events to sell and use. So yeah. YouTube, read reviews, reviews are crucial. Those are kind of going to lead you down the path of what to buy. Yep. And then when you're looking to actually buy them, I would highly recommend looking at some of the dealers out there. Yep. Uh, reach out if you are already in touch with, like you have your own DJ uh, dealer that you buy from, reach out to them. Otherwise, NLFX, Canal Sound and Light, there's a million uh, resources, ADG, AD, ADGI, Pro mm -hmm. DJ, there's mm -hmm. there's so many. Look up who is the dealer in your area or just reach out to some of the industry experts like NLFX at Ben Stowe over there. There are things that you are asked about, right? Uh -huh. And you gotta look at it and, and you look at the ROI, okay? If I buy this, how many shows does it take to make it back? How much does it cost? How much is the staffing gonna cost? How much is it gonna cost to transport it there? Blah, blah, blah. Are there times when you're like, you know what, man? I'm gonna get this for this client, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna rent it. Yeah, because there's clients that they're they're like, I need this yeah. from my DJ, and right. this is this like make or break of like you don't have it, I'm moving on. Yeah. So there's points where uh, for me, like dancing on a cloud is a big one that sure. I do that with. Sure. 
I don't own the Dancing on the Cloud because it's a thousand dollar machine and you use it for a five minute segment and in our area it's not heavily demanded and yeah. we have a lot of venues that don't allow it. Yep. Even though they really don't know what it is. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but uh, they just think it's smoke or something like that. Sure. But when I get requests for Dancing on a Cloud, I sell it. And that's another topic we're going to talk about selling what you don't have. I'll sell it to them be like, here's the price or whatnot, but I'm going to go rent that. I got buddies that I know that own those. Me too. I'm going to go rent them. And there's another little, where do you rent it is another topic. Renting gear is better a lot of times, especially you got to think about how often you're going to use it. In our area, Uplane will go out oh, yeah. every weekend, if not every other weekend. It's going to make us money back. Yeah. It's a great investment for I us. I need that. You right. got to look at your, what he said, ROI, your return on investment. How often? Then am I going to actually send this out uh, is one of the biggest things you got to consider when you're looking at either buying the, the, the device it is or just renting it. There's so many factors, guys. I mean, because you got to store it. You got to get the dry eyes for it. You got to staff it. You, you know, you're DJing and you're emceeing. You're not going to be over there messing with this machine. Like, there's so many times where I'm just like, I'm the not going to deal with the that. The technical side of it. Yeah. Knowing actually how to operate it. Yeah. I mean, when to drop it. Like, when to drop when, it. Yeah. Like, when, when I'm saying renting it, you can even outsource it. Oh, yeah. And the whole I, thing. You can, yeah. Literally. Don't touch it. There's DJs out there that outsource everything. Yep. They literally are like the club guys. Yep. They'll outsource the whole entire production. Walk in say, with a laptop. Walk in with a laptop and hook it up because they said, I need CDJs and a mixer and I need uh, the client wants all of this other stuff. So do that. Uh, I'll pay you for it, but I'll come in and with my laptop and yeah. do the gig and go home and collect my paycheck. So think about that stuff. Before you go out and buy something that might sit all year, really look around. Maybe there's somebody that will rent it to you, and sometimes that is the best move. I've got great connections in this town. Everything from you know giant PA systems to the dancing on the clouds to, we didn't mention this one earlier, GoBo projectors. We don't oh, do yeah. those anymore. We don't do those. Well, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I, I completely forgot that as a monograms. <laughs> yeah. Monograms are one of those things that's honestly dying always look to new jersey for what's coming honestly <laughs> well, what's the, already come and gone, what's right? already come and gone new right. jersey's like where the pinnacle of all of these up lighting and uh up sales and additional stuff that we do a lot of that starts there and eventually trickles to our area yeah. and throughout the rest of america it kind of starts on both ends like la and, and then trickles to the middle of america it's, mm -hmm. it's a weird trend but yeah look into the roi rent versus buy it's a huge thing to consider looking into upsells enhancements and all of that one of the biggest things you got to really realize when you're making that decision because honestly you're probably basing your decision on what people are inquiring and whatnot but once you decide to either buy rent sell whatever to get that enhancement you're going to offer that enhancement you, you got to sell it even if you haven't bought it yet it's a good thing to sell what you don't have. This was one of the key things I learned. So Brandon Wong, who owns the Photo Booth Supply Company, the makes the salsa booth, which I use, an iPad style, you know, open air photo booth. Yes. He came down here. We filmed maybe five or six videos or in the DJ's vault, shameless plug for the vault. This dude kind of schooled me on this whole sell before you buy concept. What they do is literally you can reach out to the people at Photo Booth Supply Company and they'll send you a Dropbox full of images, graphics, story size posts, Instagram size posts that you can put up and say, coming soon to Fusion Entertainment. Or yeah. would you rent this? You know, and put up a poll on like an Instagram story. Yeah. And so people start to generate income and deposits on this photo booth that they have not yet bought, but that they know is going to work for them if they get yeah. this big pop of, you know, deposits or whatever. So they're literally selling this photo booth or up lights or, you know, Bun Gear Command Center before they even buy it. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm bad about this with a lot of things. <laughs> right. If, if you inquiry through my system, you're gonna see a lot of stuff, which I call enhancements, that is up there hoping someone will want to buy it and then I'm going to look into either if I want to buy it or rent it or whatnot. Yeah. Because we're booking weddings a year in advance most of the time. Sure. So sure. I have time to get that product. That's right. But to generate income, I'm already looking to see what clients want. Right. I've right. had cold sparks on my brochure for two years now. Wow. They've been there. Yeah. I never owned them at all until just now because I got three clients this year to book Cold Sparks. Nice. And that was the justification around actually buying them. Was sure. I had one client, I was like, all right, I hit up uh, my boy, 
Butterworth, and I'm like, hey, I'm yeah. gonna need cold sparks on this day. How much is right. gonna be? Right. I was gonna rent it from, them, then I got two more, and I was like, eh, right. just gonna buy it. Yeah, just I gonna need buy it. it. I justified yeah. it. I, I probably haven't done that, but it's a good thing to, you know, as we were talking before we went live here on this uh, on the camera, we were talking about changing our prices, tweaking our prices up. Of course, always go up. By the way, always up, never down, never down. And so that's something I'll do, like as I'm making these new pricing sheets, maybe add a couple things that I normally don't do, offer or even own at this point. And I guarantee if people want them, I'll purchase them. Exactly. And that price, normally, if it's something I don't have, that price starts off really high. Mm -hmm. Because I want that initial person that purchases to damn Cold Sparks it. to damn near buy it. <laughs> yeah. So that way, if it sits, yeah. I've already paid it off. I can sell it, make sure. my money back or sure. whatnot. And that brings up another topic. I was about to say. That brings up another topic. Go ahead. Once you do have that product, say it's a limited demand product. It's not sure. like uplighting that's heavily sure. demanded, easy to sell. Sure. CO2. Cold Spark Fountain. Sure. You get that one client, two clients that buy it, and you get it in, and it's sitting there. People really don't know that you have it. Right. It's not in the reviews. Clients aren't raving about it in reviews because sure. it's not out there. Yeah. So what do you do, Joe? Man, I and the and we were talking about this at, back at the van earlier in a different video. I, I will literally give this stuff away early on, or <laughs> at a ridiculously reduced Ridiculous. price. Or if they book my top package, I'll be like, you know what, I'm gonna bring the CO2 cannon out. We're gonna have some fun tonight. You know, it's a bigger wedding. The bride has got this like super like hype personality. I'm like, she's just she's raging the on the dance yeah. floor. I'm like, this is the girl. Get you know, I I told Rick earlier. I've literally been at weddings before and just been the the dance floor is going off and the bride's just out there sweating her ass off. And I'm like, go to the van, get the cannon. You know, like go get the CO2 right now. We're yeah. gonna, we're gonna take this next level. And because I just know the photographer is going to get the media. They've got the best videographer in town shooting it. He's going to send me clips. The venue is one of the top venues yes, in the area. And they're yes, going to be raving about yes. this DJ. Yeah, he brought out the CO2 cannon and set it off like to the next level. Even when it was already at a 10, he went to 12. And so everybody at that point is now talking about it. You've captured video, photo, and then social uh, aspects of it. Mm -hmm. And so now people are starting to talk about it and the sales continue to trickle in. Yes. And you're helping to the whole entire market, not even just yourself. Like right. other DJs are now getting asked about that. So sure. it helps the whole market in general, but that's that's huge because as you guys know, referrals, yeah. referrals, yeah. reviews yeah. are what get us booked and it's what clients ask about in terms of services that you offer. So doing what he did, that's what I'm currently doing with Cold Spark Founds right now. Yeah. Yeah. I just got him in because I have three clients that want it. Yeah. But all of my current like booked weddings that are coming up right now, right. if the situation is right. I'm kind of looking at what venues they're at. Right. If they're at barns, if they're if it's a small wedding, what's the other vendors they're having? If it's one of those perfect ones, like he's saying right there, where I'm at the Maxwell down here, brand spanking new venue, brand. beautiful Massive. venue, and I'm looking. They have a videographer, they have a photographer, yeah. Yeah. they have everything. Yeah. I'm trying to like, yo, you, do you want Cole's Yeah, do you need you these? you right. want these? I mean, yeah. we'll do them. Right. Like, how much is it? Oh, like literally, right. can we, we'll just throw it in. Right. <laughs> it, and, and we and. You, if you watch Rick and I, we're not big throw it in guys. We're not big uh, discount guys. We like get what we are worth. In fact, like I said, we're both going up, up, up on prices. But to get that initial media footage and social media uh, uh, um, pictures and referrals from the Maxwell or another venue that you're playing at, like we are willing to 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 put that stuff out there. Yeah, I mean it's just. It's only going to lead to more sales. We're, we're already getting what we need Correct. to come out to that event. Correct. It, it, it's honestly, a other than the price of maybe what it is to do that. The that, powder. The, the powder, the CO2, the CO2 yeah. or whatnot. We're, we're trying, it's, this is a rare stage when you get enhancements that yeah. you're just trying to, yeah. you're trying to drum up market. Yes. You're trying to drum up sales to sell this product. So you put it out there at a lower price point you don't advertise this at all. You do it to clients that are already booked. You That's don't. Right. You don't like advertise. Hey, we're doing a sale no, on Cold Sparks, no, $100. No, no, you're no. gonna you're gonna tick some people off yeah. doing that. Private upgrades and stuff like that. Doing that for clients, huge. And then take those videos, take those pictures, and blast the hell Everywhere. out of them on Everywhere. your Instagram, your Facebook. Everywhere. Send it to clients, etc. Send it to all the people that were involved in the wedding. Mm -hmm. All the vendors, the venue, the bride, the groom, the groom, the groom, the bride, the bride. Everywhere, everybody gets that media, and then it just spreads from there. Now, I will just sidebar this real quick because I thought you were about to touch on this when you said something earlier. You said, uh, or just sell it. I am the king 
of anti hoarding. This, this is know. very true. He this is very true. He just shot a video on this. Go find it on his channel if you haven't already. I'm I am the if it sits here too long and it's not being used and it never took off, it's gotta go. And I sell it before the the you know the price depletes to nothing. Like I had a couple of GoBo projectors. Nobody was asking for GoBo's anymore. And we didn't really want to do them anymore. And you know what I did? I put them on eBay and sold them. Or I might have sold them locally so I didn't have to ship them on yeah. Facebook Marketplace. Get your so money back. Do not let gear sit around to the point where it collects dust and becomes antiquated and, and the price goes to zero. That's funny. You might have seen it on my Instagram. This is back in during COVID. I mean, everything's sitting during COVID. And I was going through point. I was yeah. going through my garage and going, I haven't used that yeah. in a year. Yeah. I haven't used that in a year yeah and i went on instagram and i was like hey djs yeah this for sale this for sale yeah. this for sale this for yeah. sale this for sale yeah. this for sale yeah. did you get rid of it i got rid of pretty much all of it so did jan i jan i did the same thing he went through his warehouse was like this is for sale and use this in forever come get this come get this boom boom, boom. Yeah. especially in jersey i'm sure it was like a freaking oh he had a, he had a riot up there <laughs> It's like, yeah, here I was like pulling teeth trying to like get people to buy right, it. Right, right. No, he had a riot up there, I'm sure. But absolutely. All right, Rick. So let's get to the end of this, man. Like, let's just talk about the rest of this year. So we're shooting this July 2021. We've got August, September, October, November, December, which are going to be madness. You said it's going to be your biggest year for it's fusion weird. ever. I'm, what? I'm already cringing with, <laughs> with the, the amount of sleep I'm going to have during that. It's going to be very limited months. October, uh, man. Tell us what you're <laughs> mainly going to be taking out you know in terms of what you guys are going to be doing this year or offering again from this year till let's say christmas yeah and we're going to have a, lo a little bit of similarity here but sure uh for us and uh, actually i can talk a little bit about how we've made totems and movers a thing at fusion sound and lighting through doing what we just talked about yeah um but totems and movers they're going out practically every weekend That's awesome. we, we have made it a thing now that like people contact us it's yeah. in all of our photos they want it they understand what it is now because we have so many videos very cool totems and movers up lighting it's going out pretty much every single weekend nice. for one of us if not both of us are taking out those two things sure a lot nowadays sure so along the same lines i pretty much take that out with me every weekend but that's me as the owner the guys are still pretty basic on lighting they do take up lights usually 16 and then they're still on the all-in-one you know your gig bar gig, gig bar bars lighting, something yeah. like that not nearly as effective not nearly as cool but again that's kind of their base package you the guys do have the the bun gear command center i know you've got one i know you've yeah, got all your custom of, all of my guys are either uh rocking now they're either got, sort of furniture. they got some sort of furniture whether i consider the event table the yeah. adj event table yeah, it's, fine. It, it's yeah. not a facade no that's right. a fam famous line of mine <laughs> that's but the next t-shirt that's the next t-shirt it's, it's not a facade yeah <laughs> coming to the winter drop or the fall drop of dj like clothing yeah, exactly. it's not a facade <laughs> but yeah totems movers and then we're we're pushing heavier on trying to get these cold sparks out there we'll see how it goes right. i know you just got a pair and you're right. going to start experimenting with them I too am. i am it's a new it's a really new thing for our for area us. yes for us it's a really new thing for our yeah. area so uh those are kind of the main things i'm going to and uh recommendations for other guys i would say up lighting if you're not doing up lighting uh, plus, one, in, plus one plus, plus one, one plus yeah. one plus one plus one plus <laughs> one yeah i just added because we were i mean i got more djs now so i had to buy more up lighting we're almost at 100 up lights now yeah and Same. they go out a lot and i'm i'm doing beyond up sales up lighting only events oh wow we've done yeah. a couple yeah just you do get, wedding planners they have a band years. Right, they have yep. a band, they yep. need lighting. So we've we done a few of those. Up lighting room. I'm telling you guys, up lighting. Up, up lighting. If you have nothing else in your enhancements folder, up lighting. Get 16 to 20 up lights and see our girl Cheryl at bothlighting.com. Mm -hmm. Link below. So same as you, man. Just gonna get more uh, furniture out there, more up lighting, uh, movers, totems. Definitely gonna try and get more sales on those cold sparks. And then, like I said earlier in the video, I got these Astero tubes. I think they're called the AS. X1s. They have a Titan tube as well, which is even bigger. But these basically like look like a a, a fluorescent tube. You a see lightsaber. It, uh, yeah, like it literally light looks like, and they're battery powered, right? Battery they're powered. like lightsabers, and you can do so many creative they things. They are crazy. With them. They come in an eight pack. They are stupid expensive. So I hope, hope, hope <laughs> that they're going to go over well. I did not kind of sell before I buy, but I think if nothing else, they're going to go out with me, like as an owner's kind of perk, if you will. You got the command center. And then these tubes, and then maybe the next weekend I'll switch it up and do movers and totem. And that's a whole nother concept because totally. Joe, Joe's at the point now. How many DJs you got working? For Sixteen you? here. He's got 16 DJs, and the company is Bun DJ Company. So everyone that contacts, like, well, I want Joe Bun. Right. I'm just now starting to kind of get that 
I want DJ Rick Webb because sure. he's the owner he's of the, the company. Owner. And a YouTube sensation. So Joe's price stands well above anyone else in his company. So right. when you book him, right. you get a little bit more. That's right. That's that's kind of the thing, man. Like that's why I take out the all white setup. That's why I'm going to take out these tubes or these movers and the totems and the, you're getting the premier DJ the and he's show. bringing the premier setup that's right. for the company. That's it's, right. It, it's for, just how it for works. a premier price. Exactly. Exactly. Wow, that's a lot of content. It we was, just, man. That was good. This this the camera perfect. turned off at 30 minutes. I'm this sure is going to be your there. longest video, I guarantee you, it's, on the channel. It, it will but. definitely be the longest, and I hopefully it'll be the most watched, mainly because you're here and people love you, <laughs> but mainly because we're trying to drop knowledge and hopefully educate DJs like we said last video we made. Like, this is, we don't get rich off YouTube, people. We make content for DJs by two still working DJs, and hopefully you guys love it. And we're always still learning every single day from other people in our industry. So leave down the comments section below what you guys are doing, what kind of tidbits and information you guys have that tailors off of what we said. What are you guys doing in your area? What's trending in your area? What's, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Then. Yeah. Let's see it down below. What's trending in your area? What are you guys gonna be selling going into the fall season? Let's see it down below. And like the video and subscribe to my man here. Please, please, please like it. Subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. I actually go in and respond to all those. But please leave a comment. Uh, I'll definitely respond to you. And, and again, my name is Joe Bunn. This is Rick Webb. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, new videos every Thursday. Appreciate you. Peace.